Now, 126 people in Scotland have now died after being diagnosed with coronavirus. And the number of people in hospital and intensive care continues to rise. Our correspondent Lisa Summers has been given exclusive access to Ninewells Hospital in Dundee to find out how staff there are managing. The seriously ill are cared for here. Staff work round the clock as numbers of COVID-19 patients in high dependency rise. There have been deaths in this hospital, but many are on the mend, like 73-year-old Thomas Maxfield. How have you been treated? Oh, very well. Very well. Uh, staff can't do enough for the other. So this is where we, we've been assessing patients, and I'll take you through to show you what we do. Our doctors and nurses put on PPE, and that's a surgical face mask, one of the plastic pinnies and, and wear gloves, and they go in to do all the assessments, including the swabs. Uh, they take off all the PPE inside the rooms uh, and clean and wash hands, and they come back out into this area, which is kept clean. In this corridor, although COVID-positive patients have been through, it's a safe area. We're more than two metres away from anyone, so we can uh, walk around without any PPE on very safely. Staff on the COVID wards are busy, but not overwhelmed. I actually think that most of my family and friends are much more nervous for me than what I am for myself. I feel like we're quite safe here, we're wearing the right PPE and we're not in with patients very long, it's the minimum amount of time. In terms of my day-to-day -day working life here, I don't really have any anxieties about my safety and the way that the senior team have been running things. It all seems very under control to me. Um, once we get to this point, the risk of COVID increases because we have COVID positive patients through here and we'll go through now to show you what kind of precautions we take. Just a few weeks ago, this was an orthopaedic ward. Now it belongs to COVID patients. You have to remember that this is a brand new virus that, uh, that we as, as humans have not uh, come across before, so we have no immunity to it. Another thing we do know is that there's certainly, there's regionality to, to the infection rates. We're hoping that uh, in areas of Scotland, particularly where, where social distancing has been taken up much more readily than in some areas, of, uh, bigger areas uh, in, in England, um, that we'll be able to flatten the curve. And that, yes, infection is going to happen, but we'll be able to spread that out. Everything has been scaled up. This hospital had eight intensive care beds. Now they have 19 and contingency plans for 50. People here believe they can cope, but testing staff and keeping them fit and healthy will be key. It's really important that we test staff. Three weeks ago, we started a comprehensive programme of testing members of staff so that we could get them to return to the workforce. And as of today, uh, over 700 members of staff from NHS Tayside have been able to return to work, back to the workforce. The tea trolley continues to come on the COVID ward. Routines carry on for now. No one can predict when the peak of this crisis will come or how bad it will be but they do what they can to be ready. Lisa Summers, BBC News.